All right, so logically, the very first thing we should do for a thorough Norton tutorial is to choose the right Norton antivirus plan. Personally, I have Norton Deluxe since I need to monitor a few different devices and I want the parental controls for, well, a couple of other devices. But hey, if you only need to get an antivirus for one device and only one device, who only has one device? Well, then just choose either the plus or the standard plan, depending if you want a VPN included with your AV subscription or not. Okay, once you have a plan, because you stopped the video and went and got one, right? Okay, well, the next issue now is how to install Norton. If you're logged in on their website, under the account name tab, there's the download section. Click here, press agree, and then it's just like how you would install any other app. Open the download file, click a couple of buttons, and then just uh, wait. And while you're waiting, well, why don't we answer this little trivia question? Okay, so what was the very first name of Norton Antivirus? No? Okay, a small hint. The acronym was SAM, S-A-M. All right, is installation done? Well, once it is, you can just set up some features like cloud backup, their password manager, and that really cool VPN, if it's included in your subscription, of course. <laughs> After that, click done, and that's how to install Norton. Security is up and running. There you go. Okay, now from here, Norton shows a quick rundown of where to find the main things. Now there's no explanations on how to use the sometimes confusing interface buttons and switches, nor how to navigate all the features that open in the pop-up windows. So that's pretty much why I made this antivirus tutorial. So let me show you how to make the most of everything. All right, the first thing you need to do in the app is learn how to run an antivirus scan. This part is actually really simple. It's right here on the dashboard. Pressing this runs the smart scan, which basically checks my PC, network, and flags any potential issues. I recommend keeping this as the default scan, but for first time users, actually the full scan is gonna be the first thing on your to-do list. And you can access that by going through device security, expanding the menu, and clicking on scans. See them? Yeah, there are quite a few options here that advanced users are gonna appreciate too but the full scan is what I use to do my testing. The only difference is that I'm gonna turn off the real-time protection so that Norton doesn't instantly catch the malware that I planted on my PC. All right, in my latest testing, the full scan caught eight out of 10 malicious files, which is a pretty good score. But this also shows me the importance of keeping real-time protection on because with it, Norton easily gets a perfect score. And I'm not just saying that. Look, look at Norton's AV test scores. All right, and I got a few more scanning pointers for you. Now in the settings menu of the device security window, here in the antivirus section, yep, you can choose the scans and risks tab and customize how often you want Norton Scan to run, as well as how you'd like it to handle those discovered threats. I say beat it, you know, beat them with a bat, chain them up, put them in the basement. I, <clears throat> oh, I might be off topic. <clears throat> Oh, and the customizability of this antivirus is like no other. I love that I can set it up exactly how I like it, right down to the tiniest of details. Now, thanks to all that, and because Norton 360 offers great protection, yeah, that's why it's usually among my best antivirus suggestions. So if you're thinking of getting Norton at this point, well, you've got my seal of approval. Two thumbs up, go do it. And by the way, there's a special Norton 360 deal that you can access through the link in the description. Okay, now besides all those great scans, another essential feature to know when learning how to use Norton is the smart firewall. Now the good news here, unless you're an advanced user, is that you don't really need to do all that much. The firewall will monitor your device traffic in the background and alert you if it catches anything suspicious. And in the settings, you can actually customize it to great detail, which usually isn't an option with other antiviruses like Bitdefender. Now, besides monitoring your traffic, Norton also has a feature that keeps an eye on your personal info. Yep, those of you that might know, I am talking about the dark web monitoring tool. Here, you can choose what information you want Norton to monitor. And if it's been leaked on a dark web database, well, Norton's gonna let you know about it. I like that it doesn't just look out for malware, but it also offers privacy protection as well. Now, hang on, going back a bit to malware protection, I also got to mention the safe web feature. See, during my testing, it effectively prevented me from entering any potentially malicious sites, and that includes phishing and scam sites. They recently updated this feature quite a bit, 
So now it includes things like online banking protection, which, come on, that's a really nice thing to have, right? We all do online banking now. And another feature that will be useful is the performance optimization tool. You can access it through the device security menu, which by the way, I'd suggest having on by default, especially if you're planning to use the Norton 360 app a lot. It's just more convenient. And under this drop-down menu in performance, well, you can run a scan to optimize your disk or do a little file cleanup. Now, as mentioned, a few of the features depend on the plan that you end up picking. So let's talk a bit about how to use Norton features such as the VPN or Norton Password Manager. So when it comes to Norton VPN, well, it's pretty simple. From My Norton Dashboard, you can turn it on right here. And from the drop-down menu, select the location. Here in the settings, you can see a few more options like enabling the kill switch to avoid IP leaks or use split tunneling to route only through specific apps through the VPN server. All right, now using the Norton Password Manager is a little bit different than what you might be used to. Even though you can set it up from the same dashboard, you'll still need to download a separate app to use it on mobiles or get the browser extension to access it on a PC. Now, let me know if you'd like a tutorial on that, but honestly, once you have it installed, it ends up being pretty straightforward. Now look, to do a full rundown on how to use Norton Antivirus, I mean, we could be here for hours explaining every single feature and customizable setting. So if you want to have proper protection without digging through settings for hours, well, by now you should know just about everything that you're gonna need for day-to-day -day use on Norton. If I miss something, let me know in the comments. I'll take your abuse. And I'll also try to answer your questions as best and politely as I can. But if you found everything that you need in this Norton Antivirus tutorial, press like and then subscribe to our channel for more constantly updated cybersecurity content. Okay, so overall, I'd actually recommend Norton Antivirus for beginners and advanced users. Ah, I didn't see that coming, did you? Because you can start with the basics and explore the more advanced stuff as you go. The good thing is if you don't want to dive deeper, you don't have to. Their security is watertight from the get-go, and it's just a matter of how in charge you like to be over your device's protection and all those settings. All right, let me know if you'd like any other Best Antivirus 2023 tutorials. And if Norton caught your eye, <laughs> I'd highly, highly recommend checking it out and not to forget to use that special deal to get proper protection at the cheapest possible price.